We have developed several models from scratch on this channel, but that's the only part of a whole machine learning system. The next most important part is the deployment of those models in production so that it can solve for what it trained for. There are a lot of videos and blogs which shows deployment of machine learning model using Flask and some other Python libraries. But in real world, that's not the optimal way to serve, to serve your models. There are some highly optimized tools for deployment of machine learning models in production. So this is the beginning of a new playlist on this channel where we will use some production grade tools to deploy machine learning models. And in this video, we will use TensorFlow Serving tool to see how we can deploy an image classifier. So before jumping straight to deployment process, let's understand the workflow first. When we say model deployment, it means we have a system in which we can push the input and get the output. So TensorFlow Serving provides us this part. It has every necessary component inside it for hosting a model so that you don't need to worry about any type of code or management. You just have to send the input and get the output by making API calls once you deploy it. TensorFlow Serving supports both CPU and GPU deployment, but in this video we will we'll going with the CPU deployment only. But the process for GPU deployment is almost identical as the CPU, so there is no separate video required for that. So here are the steps for a successful deployment. First, you need to prepare and train or load a pre-trained model. Get the details about input and output layers. Freeze the parameters and save the graph file into a saved model format. Now get the TensorFlow serving image from Docker Hub. Then type the magic command to host your saved model. And for this tutorial you will need Linux which is optional you can have windows but there are some docker issues in that docker installed and tensorflow now let's get started choose or make your working directory and inside it make another directory with the same name as you want for your model now open up the jupyter notebook and import tensorflow i am using pre-trained model but you can train your model if you don't want a pre-trained one Once your model get loaded, you can use summary to see information about each layers in the model. But we need shape of input and output layer so that we can reshape our data during the time of inference. Once you get that, iterate through each of the layers and freeze the weights. Then use kerat.save function to save the frozen model in saved model format. Now, this is the model which we want to deploy on TensorFlow Serving. And hence, we have the model part ready. Now pull the TensorFlow Serving image from Docker Hub. And one thing to remember, your model should have to follow a directory structure which looks something like this. Your model name, your model version, and inside version directory you have to put your model. And here you can see the model is inside our model name directory. So select all the files and put it inside the directory name 1 which means the version 1. And now you can see the perfect structure as we wanted. Now run the docker image on port 8501 for HTTP request and 8500 for gRPC request. Then mount the model directory inside the container using mount and give the absolute source path to the model directory. and the target path is where it located inside the container. Now set the environment variable for model name as the same name of a model directory and the set tag as image name. And here you can see the gRPC is hosted on this address and the REST API on this address. Now the hosting part is done. Let's see how we can communicate with it. First, take an image from internet and save it to your working directory which we will use to send to model to get the prediction. Make a file to send the inputs via HTTP request. Import request to send the request to server. Import JSON to encode and decode data. 
numpy for array manipulation open cv for reading image tensor flow and time now read the image and open cv read it in pgr format so you have to convert it into rgb resize it according to the input layer of the hosted model and expand the dimension to set the batch now the full url to communicate is your local host port version models model name and the use case now encode the image data to json format and write a header to identify that the sending data is in json format now use the post function to send the data on the server and get the response which is your prediction now print the prediction to see what it is given us it is a whole bunch of numbers but what does that mean actually here are 1000 floating point values which represents the probability for each class now let's decode the prediction into a readable format so keras provides us a function to decode the prediction for models trained on imagenet and hence this is the result and here you can see the classes and the probability and the highest probability is our correct answer that's all to the hosting and interacting with your model on the production server in later videos of this series we will see more tools to deploy and manage multiple models on the both cpu and gpu servers simultaneously so stay tuned for that and also don't forget to stay updated with the content on instagram link in the description and as always thanks for watching